tutorial on how to make a duct tape rose pen. So let's start off with the things you need. You will need two colors of duct tape, exacto knife and scissors, and a skinny pen. Okay, so to start off, you're going to take your pen and you are going to just see if it works. So I'm going to use this paper and just make a little dash. So you see, it does work. So when you give this to a person or when you use this pen, you know it works. So now we are going to start with our tape. So to start off, we are going to take our color and I'm going to just cut off this edge because this edge is really bad and just make it a straight edge. Just like that. And now we're just going to start by making a few pieces. So these pieces are going to be about two inches wide. So you're just going to need two of these for the center, or you could do four, but I'm just going to be doing two today. So this is just your main color. We'll be using this a little bit later to do not use a color that only has like four inches of tape left. Or you could also use a different color, but I recommend using the same color for when we do our stem on our pen. So we'll cut a strip that is four inches long. And I'm just going to cut this in half, so at two inches. And now I'm going to take one of these strips right here. And you are going to take your piece and you're going to fold it. Fold one of the top corners in. I recommend the left corner because it's just easier, I think. But you can do whatever is easier for you. And this is what it's going to look like, look like right now. So there's sticky on the right side or the left side, depending on what corner you did, and at the bottom. So now you're going to take the other corner that you didn't use, and you are going to fold it to have it line up with the first line that you folded. So it's going to look like that. And there still is going to be sticky at the bottom, as you can see. So now you're going to repeat this again with your other strip. So take your strip and fold in the corner. Flatten it out so it looks like this. And then take your other corner and have the bottom of that corner line up with the line at the bottom. Just like that. So now you have two petals for your rose pen. And you're just going to take your pen now and start at the base. And have the top of the petal go over like this much. So like probably a quarter of an inch. I don't even know. Just a very small amount showing. Because this is just the middle of your flower. And when you keep on going, you're going to go up and up. So this is what one petal looks like on it. So you're just going to place it on and wrap it around. And that's how you stick it on. Because the bottom of that petal sticks to the pen. And now you're going to take your other strip. And the opposite side of your other petal that's where you're going to place your other one. So it's going to be about the same height. It's okay if it's not the same. But you want it to be somewhat even. So it looks nice. And one way I check is I like place my finger on top. And if one side's higher or lower than the other, I raise it until it's like kind of even. So you can see you just wrap it around like that. And then you have two petals, just like that. And now you're going to take your pattern color. So I'm using the pink giraffe 
Um, and if you're wondering where I got these tapes, you can get this pastel orange at Walmart, Five Below, I think, um, Michaels, AC Moore's, anywhere like that. And then this I got from Michaels. Um, so I'm pretty sure you can get these at any Michaels. And they might even have these at AC Moore's. But you just have to look around, kind of. So now you're going to cut the petals for the rest of your flower. So we are just going to place down our pattern color. And you may need to add more pet pet petals um, after this. But um, for right now, we are just going to cut a strip that is 14 inches long. And whenever you cut um, an amount of petals, you're going to want to make sure whatever length you cut them to, like whatever length the strip is, you're going to want to make sure it's an even number. So you have an even amount of petals and that like one petal isn't smaller than the other. So now you're just going to cut two inches for each one. So two and then cut at four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven petals. And you're going to do the same exact thing. So you're just going to take your petal, fold in the left corner, place it, and then line up the petal, the right corner, and line up the bottom with the line you already made. So just like that. And now you're going to repeat these with all of your petals. Okay, so now I have all my petals made. So I am going to need more petals after I add these ones, but still I'm just going to keep on going. And so you see how you added your two colored petals already. Now you see a little bit of the pen sticking through. You're just going to raise this a little bit higher than your other petals. And you're going to wrap this around on the opposite sides the of the petals that you've placed before. So it looks like this. And now you're going to add a petal on the opposite side, like this, same height. So we're just going to check that it's the same height. Um, I think this one's a little bit too high. And you can do that too. Like if you think that it's a little bit too high before you add another petal, you can change that before you do it. Because um, you do want it to look kind of like a flower. Because that's what you're going for. So you want it to be kind of symmetrical because that's kind of what flowers are. Like some of them are, not all of them. But um, you do want it to look somewhat like a flower. So this is my petals. And now I'm going to add them on the opposite side. And the same height as the other ones, they could be a little bit higher. But you want them to be somewhat the same. Like I said, so just keep adding your petals. And the thing is, you want the petals to be opposite each other. Like you want, if you place one petal on one side, you want the other petal or a different petal to um, kind of mirror it. So it looks, it looks really cool when you do that ra rather than having it just be like randomly placed everywhere. And it just looks very nice. So, it's, it, if, like, when you start finding it difficult to kind of find spots to place petals, you know you're, like, practically done because there's really no place to add any petals. 
so you're just gonna keep adding these petals in and until you think that there is enough you can add like as many petals as you want you can add as less petals as you want as long as you think it looks good um, then it should be good because wherever you add petals it makes the flower look more fuller so I try to add as many as I can until I find it difficult to like find some spots and stuff so I'm just going to keep adding some petals until I think I am done and you can add as many as you want like I said um so I'm, I have one petal left, so I'm just going to go make some more petals and show you the finished product when I am done. So I'll be right back when I'm all done. flower so I added about I added okay so including the two middle petals I have made 18 petals to make this um, flower so you can see it doesn't take a lot of petals to make this flower so it looks very nice um, so now we're going to work on our stem. So the stem can be a little bit tricky. You have to kind of, you know, like figure out, um, uh, where to make it. So, you're going to take off the cap to your pen and set that off to the side. And you're just going to place your pen down and line it up. 20 your lines and then you're going to take some tape and I recommend the color that you did for your middle petals for your um, stem and you're just going to line it up and cut it to the size that you need and then you're just going to take this strip and line it up to where you had cut from for the top. So you may have to pick it up and roll it, but just kind of place it on for now. And now you're just going to simply roll it around like this and then you have your stem so that is how you make a duct tape flower pen or rose pen I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial I haven't made it a tutorial in so long so yeah if this okay yeah if this is giving you problems too you just have to like push down on it like that and then it will stay on it may take a little bit but it will stay on just like that and it is the perfect pen just to like write like letters with and to use in school so yeah thanks for watching bye